Are you guys ready? We are yep. ready. Yep. Born ready. Yes. So, last time we left off, you guys were preparing the next step of your adventure. After a well-deserved rest, you, you spent some time identifying the object that you found, making sure Copper was comfortable until you needed him, um, acquired the cart along with travel supplies, met with sister Yara L and uh, Duran Endermat, um, and after uh, hearing some weird stories, uh, you decided on a destination, going up northwest to investigate both the old Owl Well and the town of Conybury, Conybury, to uh, to hit uh, two birds with one stone and deal with some uh, beyond the grave shit. And that's <laughs> where we left off. <laughs> You guys were uh, at the edge of the uh, city, um, preparing to to leave in the cart. What uh, would you guys want to do? Unless you you wanted to take your rest, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where we uh, left off last time. Um, precisely, I I thought you guys were in the cart, were waiting to leave, but um, I don't know if you guys mentioned you wanted to take a rest and leave uh well we uh, already took at a this rest. point i think it was mid afternoon i think we take a rest and we decide to uh go the next morning i think okay so you're spending another amount of travel what's the amount of so, travel we, we had to do um you guys are in Fendelin, and you're moving to uh, Cunnyberry, and um, I believe it was two days ride. That's what I remember. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's about two days, two days full ride, um, right now it's about mid afternoon. So if you leave now, you're able to make, uh, some progress, but, uh, you'll probably have to, uh, like, uh, sleep, sleep twice. Well, sleep three times on the way in. So basically, how's the card made of, like, what's the... Uh, how big is how it? How does it work? Like, do, how many people do, do need to drive the card while other people test? Can we um, have a drawing of the card, please? <laughs> 3D. <laughs> Surprise! No, you, you, <laughs> you use, your, use your imagination. It's a standard card. You, you guys are only four, and you don't have that much supplies, so everyone would fit in the cart with one person driving. Okay, so basically, in theory, we could just take turns. There. <laughs> could take turn like driving. We wouldn't get any exhaustion, right? Uh, you guys would still have to sleep. Or we can. Uh, or you mean stop. you you and you want people to right. sleep in the cart while you are yeah. still making your way? Kind of. Um, in theory, would would it be possible? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be possible. Second question. Um, we have enough uh, stuff to camp. We bought it tents. Right. And we bought tents. Yeah, we have tents. We have. Wait, how many tents? I have two for myself. 
And I think we have one. I think we each. have five. I have one each, right? Eleven yeah. rations. And we, we bought, bought everything. Rations, tents. Who else have rations? Anyone that has rations in their in brain tumor? Nobody. Uh, yes. yes. I haven't. I got. I didn't really yeah. keep count on rations that much, other than when we say like, uh, "Look, lady, take two rations." Otherwise, I'm not really taking a ration a day. I don't think you you guys actually needed any, uh, except maybe in the beginning. But we don't. Uh, I think it's fine. We don't have to care too much about the beginning. But like, since you arrived in Fendalin, you were pretty much eating at uh, yep. the inn, so you wouldn't have used ration except when you gave them to um, uh, the prisoner inside the manor. Um, so if you if you have some right now then uh, just count how many you're going to need for the, uh, the travel. Okay. So there's two ways we can go. Uh, we can travel uh, during the day and camp out at night, or somebody might have a better idea how to travel to speed things up. Nobody has a bad idea, no? Well, we could always continue forward during night. I wouldn't mind, but we require uh, everyone to have the ability to see through darkness, which I don't think everyone has. So, at well, a certain point, I see, I see shite at night, so I cannot really. I can drive the car, well but I cannot camp. look around. I cannot be yeah. an outlook. Might as well camp. So I have dark vision, so I can do it. But I, I cannot drive all night. Need to rest. So yeah. I have a lantern. You and your lantern. It could work. Okay. Could work. Sure, sure. Um, I can beach in the night. Yep. Um, so the only one who sees properly, properly at night is Tamara. So that doesn't leave much options. We should just camp out. Not vision. How about we take a so, bit of wood, uh, like campfire? It. I don't know. Simat, do you see uh, at night or? I can see at night, no problem. I'm like her. But, uh, you wouldn't, you would not. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Get attacked, you would not see. The opposite of see it. Or we can drive in the night and uh, then sleep in the day while the others. Why would we do drive. that? It's, I don't know. It's just an idea. It's dumb. Go. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's, let's all agree. We drive during the day and we sleep at night and some of us take turns. Like grown-ups do. Agreed. Giddy up. I'm getting on the cart. Cart. So what's the uh, what's the party formation in the cart? <laughs> Cuddled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spoon <laughs> position. I, I'm the big spoon. <laughs> We're all spooning in the cart. So, in order, I'm the big spoon, tomorrow is the medium spoon, Kane is just like tiny dessert spoon. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Sidzy. I'm someone should be driving. 
What else the map is? Okay. Wait, life. were you? So Matt, are you driving? I can drive no pro uh maybe, maybe not, just to say. <laughs> <laughs> I could handle myself, but uh maybe the elf would be better than uh animal. Hey, I drive. I drive. <laughs> All right, Tama, uh, you're up first. On a, on a scale on, of 1 to 20, how much would you say you're good at any, handling animal? <laughs> well, 8, I think. 8? So 8 out, out of 20? That's bad. Yeah, because I'm a hunter. <laughs> so, yep. I'll, uh, I'll keep a lookout also. So I'll so be I'm... at the... At the front? At the front of the cart, yeah. All right. So Wait. I'm going to be uh, just sitting there, just keeping watch, looking around while she drives. Um, Usually it's the animal handler who drives in the party. Uh, I have a stick with animals. <laughs> but what, what's your animal handling skill? How much do I have? Um, I'm trying to be searching that. It's not and tricky I to... Plus four. Uh, I have plus four in that. Yeah, I have plus three. Anyone has higher than that? Nope. Nope. Alright, so it's gonna be you and me, girl. <laughs> yeah! So, uh, you guys make your way uh, on the road. It's a rough road and it's a rough uh, cart. Yes. I keep a lookout. Yeah, yeah. I, I know um, the way. So <laughs> you know the way. There's only one way. So you guys have way. a map, right? Yeah, we have a map. Yeah, we have a map. We bought a map. Yep, we bought the map. It's there. So yeah, you, you guys are um, leaving Fandanen. Uh, looking up, uh, looking back, you can see. Uh, the town um, disappearing behind like uh, some trees and um, valleys, and you uh, make your way on on the trail. So I'll ask um, whoever is uh, in the front to make a perception check. Yay! This is gonna go terrible. Jesus Christ! Okay. Perception. Wait, I'm the one, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm the Shit. one. I don't know. Wait, Who's wait. in the front? I'm in the front. Yeah. In the front? Uh, perception, I got a uh, 12. I got a... Uh, where's perception? It's uh, in the P's. Well, I got 14. I got 14 if it matters. 19. 19, uh, Julie? Ding. Jolana? Juliana? Yeah. That's me. Um, so you guys are driving on the trail. Uh, it's pretty boring. Like, it's uh, uh, just plain road, trees. Uh, uh, you know, there's some, like, animals. Stuff like that. The, the Who cow, knows a joke? Like, the... It's the weather. The weather is great. Um, no, not too much clouds. I got a joke for you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Might have a joke. Mm. Oops. No, wait. How do you call a horseman in the center of an army? He's a centaur of a, of attention. <laughs> I'm bringing. I'm. I'm just sliding in. Sliding in. Sliding out my Bible. Start reading. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Horseman, centaur. It's pretty obvious. Centaur of attention. Okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, 
if Caden says something. As Fern so. as to explain this joke, uh, Tamara, you you notice um, something like very quick, just a flash, uh, not a flash, but you um, there's a shadow, a very big shadow that uh, passes very quickly, and as you notice it, you turn your head around and you cannot quite catch what you saw because uh, it, it goes like you are uh, like on the verge of the the forest at that point and with the sun and everything the shadow that is cast is uh, as you turn your head it is whatever like created that shadow is already past the the, the forest line Hey, have you heard of that story where uh, that guy was shouting at dragons and uh, he could drink their souls? I wait, don't know. Wait, I wait. just got a flash of that. Wait, guys, I see. I see something. Is it a was tree? Was a big, uh, a big shadow, or was uh, just a yeah. flash? No, it was a, a shadow. Uh, okay, a big shadow. <laughs> like something flew over our head. Look yes. in, in the sky. Just, very big shadow. just pass in front of us. Yes. Yeah. Just pass in front of us. I don't know. As, if... as Fern was turning his head, talking to Senat, you just noticed it. All right. Um, so we're, as, as we are, we're basically surrounded by forest. Well, there, there is forest on, on one side, and uh, the other side is more rocky and, um, uh, like, mountains. But, yeah, you 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 have the forest on your um, left side okay. at that point. So, Thermal, are you saying that the shadow, it was, it was only in the forest, right? I uh, just see the, the shadow just pass in front of us. So maybe it's in the forest, maybe not. Because what? Anyone know if there's any fire firing creatures uh, living in this this part? Mm, well, I don't know. I know where creatures live here. Flying creatures, big flying creatures. Uh, you can make a um, survival check. Okay. I just see nature. If you can... Nature. I forgot nature. about that one. Yeah, make a na nature check. It's better. Uh, we should probably um, stop the cart and... We've been in bush once before. I don't want it to happen again. I have a five. Oh. oh. Ba -da -ba -ba. Why did they throw me into the AFK uh, channel all of a sudden? Hi. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good okay. question. Uh, my back. stream stopped as well. You just... I, I was put in the AFK channel. Uh, like... Without touching anything. I don't know what happened. And my camera is close. I'm back. So, uh, with your you got fire... banned, bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> felt like it. Um, like y you have a general idea of what kind of uh, fauna is around here. Like you would know that there is uh, owl bears and um, like griffin and like other big creature that would fly um but you you can't quite catch what it could have been okay this thing is an animal um well with your perception check yes you would uh, know that uh you, you felt like it was something flying so i was flying okay um Wait, like, hey, maybe it's that dragon of yours, eh? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, we'll, we'll maybe, but it's not the good 
time for a peer. Why you wanted a dragon? I said let's go kill a dragon. Wait, you're saying it Might was flying? Guy. Yeah. Is it still flying? Is it still flying? <laughs> you don't see anything. You don't see. Okay. Okay. Like where? Well, like it, it passed in front of you from like uh, right to left, and when you try to see what it was, uh, like you couldn't see anything in the sky. And from the direction it went, you're pretty sure you lost the sight uh, past the, like the the forest uh, canopy. Okay. So. <laughs> um, we should so, keep an eye out. I went to I went to check in the forest if I can find the thing. So you, you guys have already stopped the the cart. So if you want to, um, um, to get out of the cart and go check it out, you 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 can definitely do it. I'm going to check it the first. All right. Uh, I'll I'll a... I'll, uh, I'll go with you to help. Okay. All right. Make a perception check with advantage, unless you are really like trying to find. Uh, uh, tracks uh, of something, but it's more like trying to see if you see anything. The again. card is stopped now? If yeah. I see anything, because I think uh, the animal flies, so I don't think I can find so, so something. Make your perception check with advantage. Or... Yay! Uh, uh... You pause the 22. music again. How much did you say? Did you say it was? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, you like you really like uh, take some time, breathe slowly, look into the trees, uh, very focused on like everything happening, and you lo you notice a lot of things. Like you you notice uh, like flies and. Uh, birds and like squirrels fornicating somewhere. Like you notice everything, but you're a Disney princess now. Yeah. Start singing. <laughs> they'll come to I, you. I don't think that's the kind of thing you see in uh, with a Disney princess. But because they don't um, show you, but mm. they know. <laughs> they know. Right. <laughs> uh, but you don't see any big animals or anything. What do you see with your elves' eyes? Okay, I see a lot of things. Um, two frogs doing things, but nothing else. What Come on, let's you, go ahead. We can't just you, stop every time there's a fly coming by. Okay. Well, I think... Go! <laughs> you start... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold up! And I start running towards a cart that is I actually moving. I start running to, to catch the, not, the car. <laughs> is, is it going really fast? Like, it, they're oxen, right? Oxen it's are like 40 big feet. We, we did their mine last time that it was 40 and you guys are 30. Oh, so that's right. It, it can go a bit faster than, I walk, uh, when, than on foot. That's right. <laughs> so, like, if you accident, like, if... If they didn't notice you, you could get like two. It I stop the card of... when they come. No? I'm not the. <laughs> but it doesn't have a lot of acceleration, so they would have to like not notice you for quite some time to not be able to catch. But but with a 22 on perception, she she noticed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys run back to the cart uh, while Samad is just leaving you behind. Um, but um, I'm I'm going I'm going to to stay uh, vigilant alert. That, that's right. Uh, for if anything happens. Um, but yeah, uh, no. Uh, yes. 
I, I was give gonna the range say, uh, to her. Yep. Sorry, go. I'm gonna drive. L per keeping an eye out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um. Well, at this point, like uh, the sun is closing to um, sunset. So to, you, uh, you, you guys are reaching for... the end of the day, and uh, nothing, nothing else uh, catch your attention at that point. Um, you guys should probably start looking for uh, some place to stop. And I'm just saying, but we should probably start looking for some place to stop. Come on. <laughs> Good idea. So first opportunity we get, we yep. get to the side of the road. Yeah. So yeah, no, uh, like as you are, um, as you, you see the sun setting, you start to like look for uh, a place. Um, what are you, like, are you guys just looking to a place that you can put the cart outside the road and just camp there? Or are you just, uh, checking for something else more specific? Something with a little bit of cover. I think we can just let the car there. I make a survival uh, check. Can I make a survival check to know what's best or where's best to camp? Yep. You opened your mouth, I guess it's yes. Yes. I got an 11. I roll like am shit I... tonight. <laughs> am I cutting out or is this... No, it's fine. Is it just fast? No, no, you're good. Sometimes. Muy bueno. Right. So, uh, yeah, you... Um, you get the feeling that... Um, like you, you haven't passed much uh, on your way. Like the the trail is pretty barren, and you get the feeling that you um, like you could just stop on the edge of the road and camp there. Like it's not it's not like you're stuck between mountain and uh, the uh, the forest. The forest is close by, but there's like space around, so you guys could just. Park the car and uh, hit your, uh, like put your tents and sleep there. I you don't get the feeling that you could uh, like camouflage uh, a bunch of tents and carts so that. Hey guys, I found a there. great spot, and I just shove aside the, the road. <laughs> <laughs> there, is there enough room there for? Tents? What does it look like? Is that is there like plains or are we between forest and rock? Going? What's what? Uh, what's the environment? So as you just like take your card and park it on the side of the road, uh, it it like you have forest uh, on the uh, the it's the north east side, and you have. Uh, rock on the other side but like there is some uh like well it it's rocky terrain uh like it's not a mountain that starts climbing so it's just like um like rocks and sand and some spot of like uh, uh, uh weeds and uh, not weeds but like uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to say it, but um, I mean, like it's bushes. Sorry, yeah, bushes, bushes and stuff like that. But uh, I I can go and find some wood for uh, make a fire. Yeah, and maybe scout ahead at the same time. Okay. Round or per 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 meter per. Okay, so I'm going to scout the perimeter and I'm going to search wood for make a fire. I'm going to start pitching my two tents. 
Installing the tents as well. I'm gonna install my tents. Yeah, me too. Make a perception check, because like just gathering wood is pretty straightforward, but uh, if you're looking out at the same time, uh, you can make a perception check. So it's uh, 15. Right. Um, so yeah, you, you, you look around, um, like I said, it, it goes, like you can still see the road for quite some uh, miles in front. Uh, in the back, so you have a good vision of like what's coming, what's uh, behind you. Uh, the forest, uh, you don't see anything threatening, um, and the field is just like uh, lizards and bushes and stuff like that, so you don't notice anything. Okay. Very good. You make your way back to uh, the makeshift camp with some firewood. Uh, Fern is trying out his uh, two tents, checking if they are they can fit his body in it. Uh, the others are raising their own tents. Um, yeah. Well, so, are you guys doing anything, or you're just? Uh, bedding down and keeping watch. Uh, who's the first uh, to keep watch? Sorry. Well, I can go first. I can do it. I got all my spells. So you want to do it um, only one of us at a time or you want to be in pairs? I think can we do? I don't think we can do it in Paris or four. We need six hours. We have to do it. Alone. So no. Okay. Well, we can. We can. We can have one pair. Uh, ideally, that would be like two people. Uh, but uh, not a lot of good uh, sense of, uh, you know, action. Seeing each other out. Maybe the two of you who can't see in the dark. Can you see in the dark, kid? No, I can't. All right. Uh, All right. So I'll take the first together. shift, yeah. We'll take the first shift together, and uh, we'll wake you guys up in... Four oh, yeah. hours? Three hours? Three hours. Yep. Wake me up first. We'll wake you up before we go-go. I don't start? get that post-mortem reference. <laughs> Alright. So, um... Cade is taking the first watch. Uh, Cade and I. So you guys are both taking the watch, and then it's for uh, it's Samat and uh, yep. the last one is Tamara. Yes. All right. So um, you can either you both let make me in the in the in the middle, not not the last uh, watch, because I can see in the dark. So don't let me the last watch. Why? I can also see in the dark. My spells come back every day. So if I'm the second watch, my spells come back if there's anything happening. Okay. Yeah. No, no, don't try to argue. You sleep. All right. You don't have to tell me twice. Getting back into my... So, uh, Cade, you want to look around or you want me to put... I can get you on my shoulder, and you can look a bit <laughs> higher, like like a totem, and... <laughs> like all knives. <laughs> maybe not. Once in a while, maybe. <laughs> um, or um, I can just look as well. Yeah. Heat so e either or, uh, both of you make a check, or um, 
one of you make it with advantage. I'll, I'll, I'm going to help you, Cade, uh, to look around. So you can make a so roll with advantage. advantage. Yeah. I trust you have better perception than I do. <laughs> perception. Perception. Perception? Perception. 17. Yeah, 17. So you uh, you don't have a lot of vision, like you have the that's that's nice uh, campfire noises. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you, so yeah, uh, both of you guys don't have a lot of like reach in the um, uh, in the night with the the fire, um, but still you can hear and. Uh, with your 17 perception, you, during, like, maybe at half your, uh, um, your, uh, turn, you hear some noises in the forest on the other side of the road, like some, uh, voices that you can you can't really oh. hear or like understand what they're saying, but just like crackling voices and moving. How hey. big, how big is the fire? Do we keep fitting it or it's slowly dying? I'm not, I'm, mm -mm. I'm wondering if we keep the fire going or the question. Well, I think no. Um, since we both cannot see in the dark, I'm gonna make sure that we have like the fire that's making plenty of light, so we're kind of uh, obvious. <laughs> Not sure it's a good idea, but at least. We're going to see something, probably. Um, did you hear that, Cade? There's yes. something in the woods. Should we wake up someone that's seeing the dark? How long since our uh, watch uh, started? <laughs> Half, so it, it's been an hour and a half now. Mm, nice, nice. Yeah, let's wake uh, tomorrow. We need our cleric to be in shape. So I'm gonna go and poke tomorrow. <clears throat> wake up. There are voices yeah, in the woods. It. Voices. Um, voices? Yeah. Voices or uh, sounds like. The sounds of the wood. Can't say the difference. Okay, I'm going to. I don't. I it. don't understand what's being said, so I cannot say if it's animals or humanoids. Okay, so I'm going to investigate per, uh, perception investigation check. Oh. <gasps> Natural 20! It's the first time I have a natural 20. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Finally. So... Is he froze? I don't know. Uh, he's uh, oh, then... delaying, so, uh, I would be... buffering. <laughs> I think he's buffering. Hello? Yeah. yeah. I I'm kind of... Yeah, you're kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I've been great. What was happening, but not. not. Yeah, 
Ivan, what kind of internet connection do you have? Wi-Fi. Why? On a Mac. Because we cannot listen to you. What? We can't Sounds hear like you. You're cut out completely. Your voice and video is uh, at 50% uh, efficiency. He's shite. So that you're uh, you're looking out um, on the other side of the road, inside the the forest, and trying to make out what these guys just low key, uh, uh, no night vision guys couldn't catch up. And what you see is um, at least two goblins in the forest that are just like. T talking and uh, looking mad and pointing and uh, whatever they're doing, but you see at least two goblins that are in the forest and looking at you guys. But they they are looking at us. Uh, so yes, they are not in his business, but they are looking at us like uh, they going to attack us. Um. It's hard to make out, like, um, but like they're still, uh, they, they're not like outside the forest. They are in the forest. It's hard to really uh, grasp their intention, but I mean, they are goblins. They're goblins in the forest. Yeah. So yeah, guys, there is go goblins. So we can just keep the watch. Maybe they don't going to do anything, or we. We can get them. I, I don't know. Well, uh, as soon as I heard uh, the word goblin, I'm summoning uh, the Warhammer. Summoning. Summoning. Well, weapon bond. I, I think I have to summon it. Yeah. Oh, don't we have a sword? No sword is uh, the, the greedy elf that took it. <laughs> so who gets to oh, I'll take it um wait we're gonna there's a guy with a mustache but I don't think he's our player so, so as I'm still here <laughs> just saying good night to the kids I'm, I wait, hear what? you all nice I'm nice um, hearing you <laughs> and everything <laughs> hearing what's happening um, Cade, so, um, as hide. Yeah. I'm gonna as hide. As is um, saying, yes. Uh, as Tamara is also saying that to you guys, um, y you and uh, Fern, you summon your uh, war armor. Tamara, you notice one of the goblin cock cocking uh, an arrow on a bow. Oh, oh I shoot. I also I uh, kick uh, Samat, uh, by the way. Forgot right. to say, but. So, we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative, guys. Yay! Yay! Let's kick some goblin! <laughs> um, give me. 12. That is so poor! Uh, that's why, because I, I say everything to everybody. That's why my initiative is so low. Uh, <laughs> nine. Yep. No, wait, ten. What is your initiative? I got eleven. Sixteen. For a guy that no. I just woke up, not too bad. Fifteen. Okay. I'm always born ready. <laughs> All right. So just for the sake of it, I have sack of it. A map? Yes. I you got the map. Fancy. Got the map. Got the map. 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 Got the map. It's not ex exactly what you guys are, where you guys are. It's just going to be for the purpose of it. That's fine. 
I don't see anything. Yeah, it, yeah. I don't have the dark vision, that's why it's, it's all black. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's why. That's, that must be it. <laughs> oh, Can you see? Nope. Yeah. You can. Oh wait, yes, I can. can <laughs> I was so so zoomed in that. Uh... <laughs> so for now, um, <laughs> Tamara, Tamara spotted two goblins. Uh, she told you guys where they were uh, approximately. Uh, Fern and Kate, you pretty much don't see much. Uh, Samat. Uh, you get kicked in the butt, uh, wake up from your um, beauty sleep. rest that just started. Beauty sleep. Um, I had a porn dream. And uh, yes, I'll roll for it, these guys. First, oh, there you go. Turn order. So you said you said you can't add us to the turn order. I, you guys are added. I don't know how to make you guys see what I see. Oh, that's right. Mm -mm -mm. Goblins, so, goblins. That means let's exterminate the goblins. That as soon as Samat gets woken up, he's born ready, and uh, you're the first one to go. Oh shit! What's going on? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Goblins. <laughs> <laughs> We're being Goblins, attacked! Goblins, oh, motherfucker! And I, I step up, so I have my movement, get out of my tent, and I bless... Do I see everyone? Well, we're pretty much all in the same place. All in the same spot? Yeah. So I bless uh, all three of them. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember which one we decided. I think it's this. How many goblins? Do I see them? Maybe bless is not worth it. <laughs> you, uh, you, you see two. So as soon as Tamara, well, as soon as Fern wakes you up and Tamara points in the direction, you're able to see two goblins. Bless is 1d4 extra on and we're, rolls, right? Okay, they're there. Yeah, but I am not... If there's only two, I'm not blessing. I'm going to... Uh, but we know they that there's only arrow, two. Right? I'm going to be... So, half my movement plus... That's, that's two plus because I got 25 got 25 so half my movement is 12 but it's two I got three left I'm here in the bushes for some cover here hide or 
That's my movement. And we're not uh, blessed. No. Okay. Ooh. I think you said um, you, uh, not so that, but Kate, you said you were uh, just before. Why are you putting an X on you? Don't doubt it. it. It's not clear. It's it's X. It's different. Okay, wait. Is it shift? No, what's the shift Q? What's the uh, it's Q. the thing? Just, you hold you hold, hold your token and you press Q. Q never so really. If you want to go it. here, wait. Uh, it's fifteen. I can't press Q. I don't know why. You have to hold your token. Uh, you don't have to hold your token. If I press Q, I, oh. I just know. The... Okay, yeah. Yeah, usually, but I don't have it. Then it's Does Shift it Q or then? Control Q. I have to hold something. Uh, or, oh, yeah, it depends if you use. So where I'm key. at, can I cast? Yes! Yes, I can. All right. So, um,. That guy, he needs to do a const uh, wisdom saving throw as I cast Hold the Dead on him. The Dead? Which one? Uh, the left one. This guy? Yeah. All right. So what's the, what's the range you said on? 60 feet. Nice. Um... All right. So, wisdom. Right. Yep. Fourteen. Ah, uh, fuck you! I think it's. No, he saves. So I'm good, and then I'm pulling back. Into the bushes. The bushes. Um, next one is, that's, that's your turn? Yep. Next one is, um, Tamara, what's your, what's your dex? Uh, my dex is, Or plus three. Plus three? I don't, I don't see my. I don't have your sheet open. I do. It's plus three. <laughs> That's why you. <laughs> all right, I have uh, all so your you... sheets open. <laughs> Thank you. Even mine. I'm because I'm no. seeing my. No, the only one I don't have is Samat because I don't have access to it. Yeah, me neither. I know He's my, secretive. What happened with my hit points? Okay. Uh, no, I, I, didn't I send it to you? Didn't I publish it or something? <gasps> awesome time! My campaign. Um, so while uh, Fafkun is doing that, I, I, I didn't catch what you said, Tara, but y it's your turn. So since you yeah. have uh, higher decks, you're going first. Okay, so... They are far away, that's right. Oh god. Uh, they are on the other side of the road, so it's about, yeah, pretty fast. So feet. I'm going to use the crossbow. Alright. I can, uh, and I'm going to shoot. Okay. Um, so they are in the bushes, so they have half cover, so I think that's plus two. How much is it? You should be able to see my character now. Uh, mass, mass, mass to burn. Mass to burn, me? sir. Well, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that up. Good. Uh, yep. I, I didn't know that private meant uh, just me. I didn't read it. Yeah, I think that's that what there should be a means. setting that, like, only in my campaign, like, people in my campaign can see my character. But I don't want like my neighbor to come and look me in my, my private parts, my private cat, ca private character parts. Right. Of course. So, 
Um, uh, so I'm just trying to find partial cover. The partial cover. Half cover. Cover. Half cover is plus, plus two to AC. All right. Okay, so. So I yeah, so you're shooting your crossbow. You can roll for attack. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, what is the? If that doesn't hit. Yeah, I, I'm sure. It, uh, well, we get in a way. Pretty sure it hits. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Roll for damage. Okay, so this is a. Roll for damage. Damage. Um, Six. That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Good. <laughs> and um, I can move, right? Oh, wait, I forgot to press. Yes. And I'm going to move here, I think. Okay, here. All right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just get closer, but I'm going to stay there. Next, that's your turn? Yep. So next one is the goblin's turn. Um, so this guy that you just shot, that has uh, had his bow ready, that's the one that you notice, is going to take a shot at you, uh, Tamara. Um, I'll give you half cover because I think you are trying to get inside the, the, the bushes. Um, I try to get closer, but I'm not going to expose myself. All right. So um, he's going to use his question is, bowl. were you trying to get into the bush? Yeah. I would too. That is a six to hit. No, doesn't hit. With your your armor is thirteen plus two, so fifteen. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't hit. The other power. one is also gonna. Well, the other one, since like Fern is just in the middle, with everyone scattering, the goblin is just gonna try to take a aim at you. Well, actually, this one is gonna uh, just a uh, aim. What? The Haim. The Haim? The Haim? What are you talking about? The Haim. The Haim? The Haim. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Let me have some fun. Before the end of this his turn, this guy is going to use a bonus action to, uh, to hide. So he's just going to move uh, just a bit farther and attempt to hide. Which, is, which I don't think it succeed. Um, this guy is going to take a shot at Fern. So that's... God damn it. Nine to hit. <laughs> nope. Misses. So uh, he... Like you're you're looking at everything that is happening, and you just see uh, the goblin very obviously taking a shot at you, and just raise your shield. Boom, boom. No, no sweat. You could stay in the middle, and no worries. Um, <laughs> he's gonna take. After seeing that, he's also gonna take a step back and attempt to hide. Uh, Um, and there is another one that is going to try and shoot at Fern again with his bow. Yeah. Come at me, bro. 
It's Three. ten to hit. Misses. Bing. Another. So bulky. And, these uh, these guys uh, are really bad. How about we just go back to sleep, huh? <laughs> I feel I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> just an impression. What you don't know is the bugbear is behind. All right. So uh, he's gonna use his bonus action to attempt to hide also in the bush. And that's it for the goblins. Next up is Cade. Yo. I'm. Uh, do I see them? <laughs> Can I shoot at them? So, what's your passive Can I per shoot perception? Perception? Perception. Perception. 20. No, your passive perception. What is it? It's um passive with perception? Yep. Yes. Well. So you see you see only one of the goblin. All the other ones seems to have vanished in in the bushes. You see that guy. Yeah. Uh you see his butt like sticking out of one one of uh one of the three trying to to hide but very poorly I'm gonna shoot him with my shoot his butt yes with my crossbow all right roll for an attack i don't know what what's your first range on on the crossbow 80 80 right. that. yeah, crossbow got a lot of range so, you have you have an advantage on your shot because you're hidden. Well, actually, roll a stealth check. You never. Uh, I forgot to make you roll since you just. Uh, you said before it started that you were running to hide. Um, I got twenty one. That's good. Yay! <laughs> they they have no clue where you are. <laughs> Um, it, this is all going too well. I feel something's coming. Got another thing coming. I got 16 to it. 16... 16 misses. Damn it. So, so as you uh, try to hem, aim for the, the small part of the butt that you see sticking out of the, the three, uh, the tree, you hit the tree with your crossbow ball. Well, uh, do I have to hide again? You do. If you want to use your bonus action to hide again, uh, roll your stealth check. 17. All right. That's uh, it. Next is burn. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna use all my movement. Wait, thirty feet. I think I moved a little bit. I was there. Move forward and um. Can I use? Charge. Yeah, can I use a uh, dash as a bonus action? Dash as a bonus action? Well, dash if I is go, an action. You, you can do the action and then take the bonus action. You can take your move and then dash as an action. Okay, so that's just gonna bring me inside the bush, but I don't cannot do anything else in the bush. Well, what else is there to do in the bush? Don't know. Good question. Um. It would give you cover. 
hurts from their um, uh, attacks. <clears throat> What's your passive perception? 11. So you also just see one. Same oh, butt yeah. sticking right. out. Of I see the same butt. Same butt. Uh, I, I think pretty much everyone sees the same butt. Because everyone is higher than 11. I'll... Wait, what is ready? Can I just make myself ready? You can ready an action. Which is... Right. You would say, um... I'm going to attack whoever comes in range or something like that, but... Yeah, ready in action. Does no. readying in action takes your... When you use it, takes your reaction this turn also? Or you get another reaction? Well, it's, a, it's, an, it's an action to ready, and then it uses your reaction to actually trigger the event. Okay. Uh, never mind. I'll use my action to dash forward. So straight into the bush towards the butt. So I'm going to the butt. And I'll do, since I'm in range, I'll do action surge. So I get another action basically on my turn and I'll bash the butt with a, a good whack of the Warhammer. The lost pank. Roll for attack. W roll for butt bashing. Uh, I butt bash him of uh, 21. That hits. Yay! Roll for damage. Hit that That's butt. That's a lot of butt bash. Hit. It's a <laughs> lot of butt bash. The big butt bash. Uh, wait, where's my dice? Oh, it's a monster mark. Getting feedback in. In in a row twenty. Right no, in uh, my headphones. What? Whenever someone. I think it's Joel. He, uh, he have the. The sound active in a uh, roll 20. So I'm not the only one getting that or? No, I, I, I just paused the, the sound of roll 20 and that stopped. Oh, maybe it's roll 20, yeah? Yep. Ooh. That's going to be 10 points of damage on the butt. Oh, I think it's because it was picking up my camera. <laughs> okay. It's still doing Between. it, but I think it's my headphones. Okay. Um, so, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Well, since uh, I only see that? the butt, uh, I'm going to jam it as far as I can in. Mm. In the butt? In the butt. That's it. That's how he dies. So as you, uh, as you swing your armor around the three, uh, around the three um, it just like breaks him in half. Like you hit the, the the bottom half of the back and just shatters the goblin in two. Finally, the hammer works. Nice, nice. Uh, do I see the other two goblins? Uh, at this time, no. Okay. So I'm in the bush with goblins, but I don't know where they are. Exactly. And just a uh, quick question. When you dash as an action, do uh, if you don't use all your movement on that dash, can you move it afterwards? Do he still have that movement after? Or? Well, if it's your turn, yes. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. After, no, no, let's say like, I, I move 30 feet, I dash to have another 30 feet, but if I use only 20 of that, do I still have 10 feet of movement? When? The, tur the turn after that? No, now, on my turn. If it's during the, the same turn, it's yes, you have it. Okay. It but, doesn't carry to the next turn, but on, on no, the same No, on like, the same turn, it's... After turn, you take your yeah. action. You but, can hit and run. It's it's hit and run. Yeah, but I don't know where they are, so I'm just gonna stand my ground. Sounds good. That's it. I've done my part. That would go to Samat. Yay! Tamara, you're on deck. So... And now I can provide Samat's character C. Sheet. I'm gonna move closer, of course. So it's all I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um. Yep. That's it. Can't do much. Uh, don't action? I have a bonus action? I do, but it's not for that. All right. I have any... Uh... Good. It's my turn. All right. <clears throat> um, so, Tara. I cannot see where is the goblins. You don't. Okay. What's your passive perception, in fact? Do you my... have higher than 11? Uh, my perception maybe, is plus four. I, I mean, what, Samat, I know you have a higher perception, so do you... What's your passive perception, both of you? Samat and Tamara. My passive uh, perception is 14. I got 15. Oh. oh, okay. So both of you guys see uh, this guy that move here. Hmm. So, um, oh, he's there. Um, oh, wow. I see yeah. him. Samat, you can use your free action to shout out that he's. I'm there. pointing out coordinates, GPS so, er coordinates. Everyone sees that guy. All right, that's where I'll go. Okay, so. Uh, uh, I don't think I can. Uh, I'm going to move. Like here, oh, why I can and you cannot here. use a ruler and move with it. Okay, okay, banders. Okay, and I'm going to shot with the crossbow because I can't. More attack. 16. More crossbow. With the cover that doesn't hit, so uh, <laughs> he's he's like hiding behind stuff. You can't see it, but uh, he's pretty much covered. So when you try to hit, you just like hit a tree right next to him, and you can't you can't quite catch him. You know, you got me wrong. It's a little to the left. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stay there. All right. So that's your turn. So it's gonna be uh, the turn of the goblin. So this guy is gonna try to again shoot you, Tamara, uh, since you already shot him uh, a crossbow bolt in in the leg, um, and it is twelve to hit. I don't think that hits. So. Um, he like he he hear the the crossbow bolt coming at him. He's kind of like uh, uh, scared a bit. He tries to cock a, an arrow and and shoot you, but uh, he 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 shoot like straight out and doesn't hit you. Um, he's gonna go ahead and use again his bonus action to hide, moving a bit uh, in the bush. Um, that's 
a lot. And this um We see all the bush now. So, uh, at this point, this guy that move a bit farther um, is going to take a, a shot at Zemat. That's a uh, 15 to hit. 15 is my um, class. The hits. Um, it's three points of damage. Ouch. So, as you guys are focused on the other goblin, uh, you just see an arrow fly by in the forest and hit you like directly just in the foot. Ah, motherfucker! Uh, and he's gonna try and hide again. So that's not great. Alright, next is Cade. Yeah. So... Move to there. If you, yes. if you move, you're gonna... If you move out in the open, you're gonna lose your... Um, but hidden. it's dark. They have dark vision. Okay. It's dark and I like it. Do I see them? Um... Without dark vision, and I think I forgot for the other one that you guys don't have dark vision. <laughs> but at I this shot, point, without I shut my trap, you guys are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now I do uh, remember, but no, at this point you don't see uh, anyone. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's my turn. You can you can try to shoot. You can say I shoot in that direction, and because you you heard you heard Samad and Tamara, so I can so shoot. You, you can... Like yeah, you just have this advantage. Yeah. Okay. You you can try and uh, uh, shoot in the. Say that you shoot in the direction that um, Zemat and Tara uh, pointed. Well, I'm shooting where they're pointing. But you so know I where will... he is, you just don't see him. Yeah. So I roll to hit. Okay. Yes, with disadvantage. So I roll two times. Yes. You take the lowest. The lowest is 13 plus 5, 18. Um, you, well, I mean, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> well, that took a while. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I'm, it's always like tricky with hidden because the guy hid. Um, he was like. So. What do you mean? Because. Yeah, never mind. Was, no, it, it's fine. It, it, Tell it, us your dilemma, Kevin. No, I'm just. It, it's just that, like, uh, even though you pointed this guy, now this guy, like, hit, hid again. And like he moved, 
so it's not even in that direction so it, it, i think it should fa fail um, oh because he moved after being hidden so he was not where maxim shot yeah okay yeah technically he would have failed yeah that's so, what i thought that's what i was trying to um figure out but yeah no uh like you the, the bolt just like fly in the dark forest you don't hear anything you don't uh you don't see anything uh but it doesn't hit okay that's my turn all right so next is fern yeah yeah i'm um mm, Uh, I'm gonna move in the bush, and hopefully I'm gonna stumble onto a goblin. Okay. That's my plan. Um, roll... Roll just, uh, d6. Mm, which... Oh boy, uh, what is a D6? <laughs> it's a normal uh... <laughs> uh, I got a four. So you do, like, you just, like, you uh, walk in, in the bush, just, like, making your way, uh, trying to, like, push stuff around. You don't see anything, but, uh, like, you, you make your way... Um, and you you hear something and you you stumble upon like a, a goblin trying to hide very poorly in uh, the bush swing a hammer <clears throat> roll for attack Ooh. wait mm. i have a uh, 14 Fourteen misses. Yep. So with all like all the the, the branches <laughs> and all the the stuff around, uh, you do like <laughs> like stumble upon a goblin, but you you try to swing your big hammer in in the midst of the whole forest, and you just like hit a tree, and that you didn't see on the side, and the goblin is not um, cut in your swing. All right, all right. That's yeah. That's pretty much the end of my uh, turn. So I'm getting uh, tired of these guys. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh shit. I'm just going to um, try to... The whole bush to the ground. Five. And... My passive perception, do I see them? You, oh, you, you stumbled upon one, right? Yeah. So, so I would have seen it. Yeah, I'll yeah, join the fray. Um, join the fray. I guess I have advantage. You have advantage on what? What are you doing? I, I join the fray. I'll attack him. Okay. With your hammer. Yeah. Do I Why see do him? You have advantage. Well, the, see we, him? well, cause I'm flanking. Oh, true. Yeah. Go for it. Get, uh, get no music. And 
was the Warhammer, right? Yeah. So it's uh, 17. Just hits. And I will have a 8 bludgeoning damage. That doesn't handle you on to do this. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, where's that guy? Is it him? Is he there? Is he there? And I'm just like swinging and just like before even seeing him, like pfft, bashing on his call. Oh, looks like I had it. So yeah, you just swing. And you hear a, a, a head just like exploding. I think that was it. Under your armor. And uh, he goes limp on the ground. And is that your turn? That's, yeah, that's it. My turn. Say my turn. Uh, say my turn. <laughs> Uh, you say that I see this guy, right? Uh, you don't. I don't? Nope. So... This guy is hidden. Okay, so I'm going to get closer. And I see it now. You, you can... You can take your action to, I uh, say, uh, to try and, uh, find him. Okay. But, um... You you don't see him right now. Well, I'm 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 going to take the 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 sword and I'm going to start just landing the sword if I hit something <laughs> in the bush. Um, roll a d6 also. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, six. Nice. Uh, roll your attack then. Ooh. Uh, nineteen. You're so you're just like doing, uh, le mouline. I don't know. If... Well, <laughs> I don't know how to swing. say that in English. Some bush uh, yeah. trimming. Yeah. Uh, roll for damage. Okay, I I have the sword uh, with two hands, so I'm going to roll a d10. So that where's my d10? I have a sword with two hands. In it. That's your magical sword, right? Plus yeah. one. We okay, get plus go. one to attack and plus one Wait. to damage. Uh, okay, he's here. <laughs> Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven points of two. damage? Yeah, same so yeah, you're just make, making your way, like cutting stuff, and at some point there's just a goblin that falls on the ground and it's dead. You just chop his head. <laughs> nice. Okay. And yeah, that's Oops. it. They're all dead. <laughs> I can't believe that work. <laughs> Me either. That all the time, how you do it. Uh, hey, where are no, you? Just in this case, but it's the first time I do. I'm I'm thinking. <clears throat> um, there's, I think there's two things we can do. We stay here since we're all already and uh, the tents are up, and um, we kind of send a message to any other goblins that might try with, I don't know. Uh, a nice display of three little heads on pikes around the camp. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun. <laughs> so okay. uh, I'm going to take all three goblins, chop their head off and uh, display them around the camp. You're going to put it in a... In a mm -hmm. in how do you call on that? a pike. Uh, a pike? Night. Kevin? Yes? Can I, like, make some kind of check to know if that's a good idea? 
<laughs> or if that would just provoke them. Whoa. Yeah, make a make a general wisdom check. And he's very wise. I am. I got a twenty. Ooh. Say anything? I yeah, I got twenty. <laughs> Sorry, I I didn't hear that. Nice, good job. Um, so <laughs> you you like with the encounter that you just had, like with just ran three random goblins that just attacked you on the street. Um, you get the feeling that like they're not like well prepared or well like uh trained or organized and that just displaying heads on a spike would probably scare the, sh the shit out of any other goblins that would uh cross your path uh, in on 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 this road hey let, let's get in before the road as well or maybe the smell will not <laughs> attract them with that I mean, at this point, <laughs> right? Maybe just for the night. I feel the smell will attract beasts, though. Yeah, no, no, it, it was just goblins. for. It was just for the rest of the night, for the camp. They're gonna stay there tomorrow. I don't care. And I'll check if they have something on them too. Anyone want to help me out on? Uh... Looting. Going to help. Yay. Well, actually, I gotta make my little uh, ceremony there. So while uh, let's do one by one. All right, just pick pick things on them after the ceremony. This is what we're making sure. All right. Okay. Right. One by one, I do a little prayer for the goblins. A little same as uh, what I did. Um, uh, what was I? At the start of the game, at the cavern, you know, Goblin yeah. Cave, Goblin yeah, Cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kragma hideout. Thing. Yep. You you burn you burn. But them. I don't burn them because I would just attract <laughs> just more people, attract bees. Okay. We can burn just, them. Just uh, saying a little prayer for theirs. All right. So Samad does his ritual. Uh, do a small prayer. Um, doesn't when take too long for goblins. When he's done, I uh, loot them, then chop the head off and make it. Most of, <laughs> I think two of them already has like their head chopped off. But huh, cool. like, one, one is just crushed. One is chopped. Yeah. The other one, uh, you have, you would have to take it off. So you have two pot potential good goblin head. One that you have to uh, cut off yourself. No, it's fine. So you do that. You put them on spike around the uh, the fire. I'm going back to bed after this. No, right, right a bit after, uh, like around the camp. Not the fire, but around the camp. Perimeter. Okay. Yep. Yep. And you find. Um... I didn't roll. Do you want me to roll for? Yeah, you, you can uh, roll for investigation. With advantage, since Tamara is helping, or. Oh, is Tamara helping? I did yep. ask if somebody wanted to help me before. Okay. Because I'm smart. <laughs> and I know my roll sucks. I got the 13. Investigation. Um. So, like. They are goblins. They don't have much on them. Uh, you find some like rotten meat. Um, you find like two silver uh, on one goblin. Uh, they have scimitar, short bow, couple of arrows. That's pretty much what you find. Well, we're two silver richer. Woo! Take the arrow. 
Take the arrows. For who? You guys, are... you guys all okay, have crossbows. So... Yeah, we're, we all have crossbows. Oh, okay. It's balls, crossbow bolts that crossbows fire. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying arrows is pretty much useless. Okay. Unless you want to trade your crossbow for a short bow, but... Mm, no. I don't know the I big difference. Think, uh, for the for the crossbow, I need the uh, arrows. I don't need it. You need bolts. So arrow yeah. and bolts are different. You mm. guys got like quivers of bolts yeah. uh, that you 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 have currently. Um, you guys don't have arrows, but you don't need them. Unless you want to switch to a bow. No. Oh, okay. Good. All right. So you, uh, Samantha is already sleeping. Um, are you, are uh, Fern and Cade continuing? Yeah, we're, we'll finish the watch. All right. So you resume your watch uh, with the display of the heads on um, on the spike. Uh, your watch and uh, without issues. Yay. All right, time to head the sack. I'll wake uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna go to sleep. Poke Good. tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna wake. I'm wakey, up. wakey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wake. I'm going to bed. To my tent. In the two tent. Yes. So you can um, make your perception check for your. Um... Twenty. Um, you. Again, you are very like alert and uh, picking up on like all the noises around, uh, like seeing a lot that is happening, but like nothing, nothing suspicious or nothing uh, threatening uh, that catches your eye. Okay. And your um, your turn ends without issue. Yeah, yeah, I have to uh, wake up Simat. Yeah. Yes. Simat. Just uh, I, again, come this again. I'm taking my hammer, swinging the <laughs> swing. Just uh... I, I just uh, <laughs> jump for uh, don't get hit. Oh, oh no, no goblins. Just, no, uh... no goblins. Just uh, okay. take your turn. All right. All right. I'm up. I'm up. Ah. Oh, I'm getting them out of my tent and being on the lookout. I need to roll. Yep. 14 plus 5, so 19. Pretty similar really experience than uh, what Tamara just. Uh, got for her watch. Um, you are very keen and very uh, uh, alert to everything happening around you, but you don't notice anything uh, threatening or uh, anything suspicious. And at that point, you see the sun uh, raising. Um, it starts to like light up. Uh, the the birds are singing and. The day starts, uh, yeah, the day begins. Everybody get up. Time to go. I'm packing my stuff. So you guys can all uh, mark your long rest. Yep. And... I should have uh, used my spell. I don't know why it didn't. I'm going to take all the things and I'm going to the car. 
Get ready. Yep. Packing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have two Pack tents. Moving. Calm down. <laughs> I'm feeding the uh, the oxen. You guys are I'm feeding some team. ration. Yeah, yeah, rations, ration, yes. Rations, minus one. one. Whoops. I accidentally remove all five of them. It's fine. All right. I'm good to go. Why have I shit? So you guys are like packing everything, uh, kicking the um, the fire, uh, getting all your stuff, leaving the goblin head behind right? yep yep yeah getting in the cart same formation making your way on same the road way. sounds good um all right so you guys are on your <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> i i drew the cart great okay. nice. so you guys are hey my card Hey, the card was so well drawn. Ish. At that point, you would be around here. So we've made like a See. half day of travel. Yep. No. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you yeah. seem suspicious. No, I'm thinking. Yeah. So, technically, it's going to take like two days to get to Conneberry. Technically. Maybe we should try to push it and reach at the end of the day. Okay. I don't know. Wait. Yeah. Is, is Conneberry uh, a town or something? Or it's... Because according to the legend I have on my map that I bought from Barton's, Conneberry is a ruin. Is it? Yeah, it's ruins. Wait, I think it's a town. You can make a history check. See if you can... Oh, crap. Um, With advantage because of my no. map? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, <crap. laughs> I got 14. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, woo, oh, uh, woo, did I have something in history? No, never mind, just 14. Fourteen. Um, the, the town ring a bell, um, but, like, you don't know what happened to it, but you know it's not, like, Like, you don't remember anyone still living there. It's pretty much ru ruins. You, you can't be dangerous. Remember, you can't remember what happened, but, but you do remember that, um, like, something happened there and nobody's living there anymore. Okay. But maybe what we could do is actually make the road the whole road and camp outside just to save distance so we can be there in the morning while we're arrested. Yeah, because from what I recall, it's uh, the town is pretty much abandoned. So there's, there's not going to be anything inside the town if we reach tonight, actually. It could so, be a dangerous spot. Yeah. I think it's uh, like you you propose a math. It might be best to stay outside of it and go explore during daylight. 
Okay. But we went. We going to to drive in the night for uh, get the quickly. No, no. We're we're just gonna go all day and we'll camp out in the evening as well. Okay. There's no need to push it to reach Connyberry. Okay, cool. Especially with our um, cart. Wait. So if you want, if you guys drive like um, the whole day today and then camp, you would get to Cranberry about like 10, 11 ish in, in the morning. So you would, you would have the rest of the day to explore and do whatever you guys have to do. Plan. All right. So you might, uh, you guys get on the road. Uh, you have a plan in mind. Um, uh, you're driving for the whole day. Yep. Uh, right. quick question. Did the priest, uh, what's her face name? Priest. Uh, the sister? Yeah. Garael. Garael? Why did I not write that down? She gave us the heirloom uh, before we left, yeah? Mm -hmm. No. Fuck. <laughs> she did not? What oh, heirloom? Yeah. To pick it up. We didn't pick it up. Yeah, I believe she she gave it to us. You said you were gonna go, and you never went. Ah, uh, we forgot. <laughs> oh. Dang it! <laughs> you know it. Oh man! <laughs> you are just trying. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I forgot that existed. I never take that note. What's that heirloom? Uh, oh. It's to summon the ghost, as I remember. Or uh, it's, it's like the offering. It's, it's an offering to the ghost uh, to, to get like the answer or, or the wish. I don't know. Oh, so now what? <laughs> Well, um, since we kind of forgot the, the the heirloom from uh, Gabriel, it might have been the easy way. Now we're going to have to find probably another way to... Or lose half a day or a whole day <laughs> to, get to go get it. Oh. It's just a day, right? Not... No. We're not... We're in, we're in no haste, right? We, there's no time constraints or something. Mm. I, I mean, I, 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 I don't I want to have to travel either. But I mean, it's either that or we bust our heads even more while we're there. Now, once we're should, there. It should be a solution. To do that without the item, I think. Like what? I don't know. Well, my question is, I, I can take a, a, a what, what we have a, a horse, not uh, we have in the car. A what? It, it it's like big cows. Like it's just big. Um... Like bull. If I take one and I get back and you guys wait for me here. It won't be take a lot one what? It's it's not gonna be faster if uh, we all go or you one of us go. It's gonna take the same time. Okay, so I'm not going to be faster if I go alone. Okay. So, and you might die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pickle. 
Well, not for me. I mean, uh, well, yeah, because I would have to wait. And then I would wait a lot. So are we going to get back? I think while you guys are thinking about it, we're going to take a short break because I need to use the restroom. All okay. right. <laughs> Let's think. You're uh, trying to argue the rule? <laughs> yes. the... <laughs> I'm trying to argue the rule with the DM. <laughs> this is going to end badly. Does it smell like grilled TPK? Barbecued TPK? <laughs> No. TPK. I'm not familiar. Total party kill. Ah, total party kill. TPK. Oh, oh boy. End of the campaign yeah. without any resolution. <laughs> Everyone just died. All right. Uh, you going back? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to go back, but I mean, we don't really have the options not to. So, third round. Going back. Lead those oxen to the place where we left. Can we, like, accelerate the pace? I think we there's a fast pace we can do. Not sure. You press the forward At button the cost twice. of um, <laughs> less perception or something. Well, that would be at the cost of like being stealthy, right? If um, well, there's stealthy, there's normal, not... and there's accelerated. Can accelerated go beyond the? Uh, I don't know. Max I speed? have no idea. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> I always get lost in these uh, travel speed stuff. Yeah. Um, let's say for the sake of um, just uh, brevity. Um, brevity? Brevity? <laughs> brevity? <laughs> yeah. Right? Whatever Mercer says. <laughs> it's not an expediency or something like that? Expediency? Expediency. Expediency? Expediency, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just camera, maybe uh, with the help of whatever, do a, a roll for just uh, the trip back. Well, actually, you, you are just a half day in. Yeah. So, like, you would come so in back. a day, we would just go there and back unless we can't find um, the girl. I think, I think, um, yes. I'm so, rolled for perception, yes? Yep. Uh, quickly, just like that, yeah. if, uh, if we do like a fast pace, it's minus five penalty to passive wisdom. Okay. Quickly, uh, that I can see right perception. now. Perception. Passive wisdom. Passive perception. Yeah, perception. Score, yeah. Minus five. Okay, so I have to take my passive uh, perception. Um, but does it? It says plus uh, minus five to passive perception. But like, what about the speed? Does it change the speed? <clears throat> I think not. Uh, y yes. Uh, distant travel per uh, pace at normal uh, minute, it's 300 feet. An hour is 3 miles. A day, it's 24 miles. Uh, at a fast pace, it's 400 feet, 4 miles, and 30 miles a day. So you can do a bit more. You can do... Um, if you go fast, you, you can do a bit more. Yeah. But yeah. not that much more okay so but you guys can go back sleep and like finish the day in Fandaline and then start a day fresh or you can just go back uh, and come 
pretty much at the point that you are, maybe a bit farther. And um... well, it's better if we arrive or and like after being well rested. It's better if we arrive. So the the way we had it, it was okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are making your way back to Fandalin and back again uh, in the same in the current day. Back. Forth. That's forth, right. Back. Yep. All right. So yeah, Tamara, if you can roll uh, perception. Uh, and with advantage. Evan? Well, with advantage? Yes, well, I assume just someone is helping you. I don't know who. Eleven. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? 11. 11. With right. advantage? Because the second one was one with advantage. <laughs> so, yep. Minus five. All right. So, um... <laughs> We what? are no, blind. That's, that's passive perception. It doesn't really change on the roll. Um, but yeah, yeah. So you guys are uh, moving fast, um, trying to uh, go back to Fendelin, uh, realizing that <laughs> just realizing that you forgot an uh, important piece of uh, uh, the quest, and. Um, so making your way back to Fendelin, uh Tara, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Um, you're not that like uh, attentive. You you've been more like focused in the uh, in the past, but uh, still nothing catches your attention, and you guys make your way uh, without issue to back to Fendelin. So you guys uh, go straight to uh, the shrine. Talk to uh, Sister Garel. She sees you ar uh, arriving. Oh, um, y you guys are very, very quick. You are are you guys already back? Did you see? Uh, did you see Hageta? Yeah, uh, you, you forgot something. Yeah, no, we just we just went for a quick stroll just to you know make sure the cart and the oxen and everything's in order, and now we're ready to go. For one day, yeah. yeah, we made that. It was mm -hmm. a test drive. But who has the heirloom? I had trouble with my headphones. I just uh, cut out. Sorry. Uh, can Can you repeat what you said, friend? Sure. We went for a test drive with the cart and the oxen. Now, now we're back and. We would pretty much like the, the heirloom that is needed for a gata. That you oh, should have I, actually given us, like... I... yeah. It, it's just that when we talked about it at the inn, I thought you guys would come by and pick it up, but... Uh, yeah, uh, give me just a minute. And she goes back in, um, uh, like, some... Um... Back storage and comes back with uh, like a small casket with that she opens and there's an heirloom in, inside it. Here, here you go. Um, yeah, it, it's gonna help because uh, last time I, I went, uh, like there was nothing uh, I could do to make her appear. So hopefully this is gonna help you and um, it's gonna work this time. Yeah, but so is that the first Quest you're giving to other people because I feel that's your first time. I'm gonna explain a bit to you how it works. Usual, uh, when there, you give a quest to someone and there's an important item that they need to pick, uh, for that question, you, you, you leave it with them when you give the quest. When they say okay, usually you make sure they leave with that item. Um, yeah, yes. so next time, just you know, it's no biggie, it's just a trick from one adventure to the other. Well, um, I, I mentioned it to you guys. I thought you would pass by and pick it up, uh, but you never did. Yeah, no, well, that that's totally on you. Well, now we're passing by to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and I gave it to you. It 
it's it's here and i hope it's gonna be useful thank you sister we're going to make the we're going to make the things fine okay so before we go is there anything you would get tell us give us yeah, that's the most important thing that was the heirloom now you have it there's right. you give it to the ghost and that's it you ask the question yeah that's oh, that's what i hope is gonna like be sufficient yeah and let's say we have to kill that ghost you have anything uh in advice for us how do you kill a ghost yeah wh why know. would you do that maybe he's a jerk i i, I would say n n try not to upset the ghost like if you want oh, of to course. ask the, the question don't like just like present the room be really nice and try to like um compliment or I, I don't know but like don't attack it we won't in case we need to defend ourselves you know ghosts can be jerks too and this looks right. like this one is one hell of a jerk as well. Maybe he needs to be uh, taught a lesson, you know? Uh, yeah. Start by uh, knowing that it's a girl. Oh, that's a good way. Well, her name is Agatha. So. Oh, well, I mean, I don't judge. <laughs> I, Unless you um, call Tamara. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just trying to help. I, I just noticed that you're um, talking like he, he's a guy, but I'm pretty sure it's a girl. With the right. heir, heirloom and everything, the name, even though you shouldn't judge. But yeah. All right. Let's uh, All right. let's uh, oh. let's get our move on. There you go. Thank you. Gabriel, see Bye -bye. you in a week. In a week? Yeah. Um, days going. Yeah, yeah. Well, two days to go, yeah. two days to come back, three days for shopping, and we'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be here waiting for you guys. I hope uh, you have safe travel and that you achieve our goal. Thank you. Thank you again. Yay. Let's uh, ride. We're going, we're going to rest or what time? What time go? is it? Um, at that point, it would be maybe 1 mm -hmm. p.m., like half day. Yeah. A bit past half day. No, no, let's let's do the same and camp out. To... Okay. You're moving Whoa. in. A roll? Forward. Forward march. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out with you uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so. so uh, at what pace do we go? Uh, careful, maybe? Just normal. Normal pace. Only your okay. Harry. Yep. Nine. 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 <laughs> what pace uh, are you going? I, I... Normal. Fast pace? No, normal, normal. pace. Normal. Okay. Normal. Standard so pace. Nine. Standard. Standard. Did you roll with advantage, so, uh, uh, Tamar? Okay. Yeah. Your roll sucks. Your roll sucks, exactly. Mm hmm. Um, so you make your way back, uh, again, third time, you see the same boring road. Hey, we've passed by that three again, right? Mm -hmm. Same tree as before. Mm. Same bush, same forest, mm -hmm. um, pretty much the same. About the time where you, um, 
reach where your last camping spot. Tara, you notice a big, um, a, a, a big form, a big humanoid form at your campsite. Yes. Where? At our campsite? At the campsite. We attracted something. It, it seems to be chewing on something. It's as you're back uh, on you guys. It's still very far right now, uh, but you, you see something there. Yeah, but but he's going to, uh, like, he see us? Or uh, we can just go and let them? Well, he's on the side of the road, right? Do I yeah. see him? Hey, guys, there is something there. <laughs> Now you do. <laughs> <laughs> and so what is it? it? Yeah, what does it look like? It's just it's just a silhouette. Can we distinguish any traits or with Tamara's perception she doesn't really pick up on what it is. Um I you, you could try Can I make and... a perception check? Yes. Yeah, let's let's try to get a bit closer and see what and it is. Nope. <laughs> get an eleven. Since no um, one can maybe, actually yeah, tell it, me what it is, maybe it, we can surprise him. Yeah, but like you, you don't quite know what it is, but like it looks pretty big. So it look, it looks bigger than an orc. Oh shit! <clears throat> A troll? If we just pass him. Maybe <laughs> he don't do anything else. <laughs> Maybe. That that's that's a risk. Uh, I mean, we got stealthy people. Maybe we could just sneeze, you know, jump him while he's eating. Well, can we just get a little bit closer and try to see what it is before any like uh, sneaking and stabbing and. Or casually passing by. He might, he, the thing is, he might spot us just after his meal. So if we move uh, closer, we risk uh, Who have being the... detected. Because someone can, can just get closer, like Caden. <laughs> With his Estelle. <laughs> yes, I can. And you, want, and you want me to just go to him and slit his throat, or...? Because if we travel at slow pace, we're able to use stealth. Okay. Does it work with a cart as well? well I don't know about you, but I, I'm not that stealthy of a guy. No, I'm not stealthy You're not at all either. Too. And and we got be... a cart, an oxen. And if... And if 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 Kaden just distracts him <laughs> a little bit, but <laughs> if you get it, you, you are a stealth, and maybe you just just move some bushes or something, and uh, we can pass the the car, and we going to wait you, wait you mm -hmm. just uh, a use, little... that that's a good idea. Okay. Use Kade as live bait. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I promise that's something a, that's a nice wrong, plan tomorrow. To Very nice. No. No. <laughs> Why not? I mean, if we lose twenty-five percent of our if team, if I make it's... noise, I'm not gonna be it in that anymore. Well, here's the thing: we can be stealthy and attack from a distance. You know. Or we, 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 we can just... You got uh, long-range weapon. I mean, how how far is it? In terms of, like, um, feet-wise. Could oh, they... I, I have... Could I they ha get I, wait, wait, wait a minute. I have a, a spell that is a um, fog cloud. So um, I can just make a fog cloud around the, the guy. And we can cross. Maybe he doesn't see us. Oh, the... Ah... Mm. We would not see anything either. That's the problem. No, the cloud, the cloud is um, 
say you create a 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within a range. The sphere spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscure. So I can just cast it in the place uh, where he is. And it's a sphere about 20, 20, foot. 20 feet. But so you could but create what's the range where you can like how I can far cast can you create it? I can cast it uh, if if I have uh, one hundred twenty feet uh, far, and the the sphere is twenty foot radius. So I think I can cast it in the place where he is and. Because he's he he is distracted right now. So that... I don't know, guys. If we if we lose it, the the consequence, I mean, the risk we're taking here, is that this guy destroys our cart, kills our oxen, and then we're back to square one again. If we lose. That's what's happening. Oh, we can kill him. <laughs> but uh, either way. If Thamara does the fog cloud, if the guy gets out of the cloud, we can still ambush him. We're, we're still going to have an advantage if he gets out of the cloud or if we try to jump him. Makes sense. I'm going, I'm going to cast a fog cloud to the... To the when we're in cloud. range. But, oh, okay, wait, what's the plan? You cast fog cloud and then what? We try to sneak by with the cart. And then we get close to him, and if he sees us, he's gonna bash the cart and the oxen. Well, he's we gonna be in. The, the, he's gonna be in a. He's going to be in a cloud sphere. of fog. So. Yeah, he can, can get out of it. Around. Can hear us. Well, can we swing. have to. We have to get a stealth, I think. And pass pretty quiet. The fog cloud just yeah. uh, have a duration of uh, one hour, and I have to stay concentrate. Okay, I don't know about the, how quiet that card is. Moving up. No, stop. Where we we stop? So at this point, it, it it would still be like half a mile away. A mile. So I have to be, I have to be just a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah you guys would have to uh, like get close, a lot closer for you to be able to um, to cast your spell. What do you say, Cade? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to get out of the car. And I'm going to get closer to the to the beast in a stealth because I have I, I think I have a so make a stealth check. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's do the, the let's go for the stealth kill. So what what are you doing here, <laughs> Miss? Uh... What, what, what's happening? What you doing tomorrow? Well. Are we going to attack the guy, no? In a stealth. Because uh, you said the, the fog cloud doesn't work. So, well, we can... Yeah, we can try yeah. to be stealthy, but... Yeah. There's a high but... risk here. So, what we going to do? So you were doing uh stealth check so is it okay you want to attack I, i'm gonna i'm gonna bless you extra you hoof. extra okay. hoof. So um, I can pull, uh, okay. i'm gonna do i'm gonna yep, try to stealth do... are well. we all blessed or it's up to three creatures. So you can bless the, well the ogre. Ooh, that's a good first one, though. Ooh. 
but that's a so horrible we, second that is still, I am really high. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You got what? With 12. I have 12 and a stealth. Okay. I had an 18 plus 2, but 4 at disadvantage plus 2. So 6. Super stealthy. Oh, you got 6? Because of, the, because of your. My uh, chain mail, yeah. So you guys are all making your way stealthy uh, towards nope. it, or are you? I'm I'm not being stealthy towards that guy. <laughs> all right, so oh, you you said half a mile. What? Yeah. How many feet is that? I don't remember. Mm. Uh, they can shoot pretty far with their crossbows and all. Well, top range of crossbow is 320 feet. But that's the top range. It's probably a disadvantage. Otherwise, it's 80 feet. It seems like at this point, it's still like 2,000 feet away. Okay, my crossbow don't, don't no, have range. We're going to move in range of top range of crossbows and then leave the card there. And when and then you guys are going to, you know, Shoot, I guess. What do you where do you want to shoot? You want to shoot at the top range, or do you want to shoot safe and get closer? I want to get closer. Yeah, some of us can get closer. I'm gonna shoot top range. So what? About eighty feet. So I'm gonna stay at a hundred and twenty feet, right? And I'm, and I'm going to cast the the fog cloud, just for in where is the guy? Just because he can't see us. Yeah, but we're right, not going to so... be able to see him either. Oh, we can enter and get closer. But, don't but see we won't see inside. anything in the fog. Okay, so I'm not going to cast it. No. <laughs> I, know, I know you want to use fog cloud, but <laughs> now it's not quite the time. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Tamara and Fern, you make your way uh, stealthily to... Um, to well, the ogre, uh, uh, to about so we're, how much? I mean, we're all moving at least to to uh, 120 feet. Yeah, I would say 120 okay. feet. It's fine. The the card stays at 150 feet, so way back. So let's say there's a battle happening at 100 feet. Then the, the card, card is the at card least is 50 safe, feet yeah. from the battle. And I, I'm staying at 120 feet, and they are. At a, a 80 feet. So they can come back and we can move forward and meet in the middle and have a fight in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stay with, um, with Samat since I'm obvious. So I'm going You're to a big boy. Mm. Okay, so I'm Help. going to advance Check. a little bit. You two take positions on the side of the road and I'll shoot him. <laughs> And I'm going to shoot, I think. Wait, um, so, Cade, what's your... So, Cade and Tamara are making their way closer, right? Yeah. Yes. At yeah. this point, uh, Fern and Samat are with the cart at 120 feet away from the beast. Uh, the cart know... is a bit further, but yeah, we're at 120 okay. feet. Which at this point you notice is an ogre. Okay. And because you're close enough, like it's pretty obvious that it is an ogre. Um, Ogres. It, the time it took you guys to get there, um, like it, it's pretty much done. Like it's it, it's it's not necessarily um, looking uh, like uh, pointing it. It's back towards you anymore. It's more like uh, going around uh, your campsite, trying to see if there's anything left to for him to hit. But uh, um, he like he, he seems to be done with whatever he was doing. So what are you guys eating? Doing? I'm going to shut. On my mark. You're getting. 
You're going to shoot? I have less. Is that right? On three! Yeah, we have less. I would say uh, on... Uh, we, we all shoot at the same time. 18. Ish. But Fern, you're, you're, you're not there. Are you there? I'm not at 80. I'm at 120. I can still shoot. Oh, okay. So how are you guys communicating? Are you just doing... Uh, gonna shoot as yeah, soon as I the other one shoots? <laughs> I Make have science. my crossbow, arm <laughs> up, when I do, we shoot. You have a deer behind. <laughs> so, I'm going to... When they see my bolt, they shoot. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. It, it doesn't really matter, because uh, <laughs> you guys just get all one round uh, of surprise before we go into initiative. So, if camera you're shooting, go ahead and roll. Uh, for an attack, 18. I'm gonna w yeah. I'm gonna shoot when she's shooting. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. Alright. Eighteen. So eighteen does With advantage, hit. eh? With advantage. Why? That what? hits. Well, is she hidden? Uh, oh yeah, true. Yes. With your bonus of your less bonus. And my less bonus. Oh, but. And uh, sorry, Kate, but since you're always you. hiding, I'm gonna take the bless for this one. So I got no bless. Nope, you got no bless. You don't need no bless. Uh, that is a sad day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you say that that hit? Yeah, so... Um... I've moved the card a bit back. There we go. <laughs> Ten of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that crystal is insane. It's uh, gonna be a meme. You said 10? Yeah. Ooh, what's happening with the map? Where did the map go? I don't know. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It's I don't nine, know nine, what nine, I've nine, been nine. Told. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's nine. Nine. So I'll move you guys to the moon. Mm hmm. Well, I, actually, it could be the same place since. We said it was. It's, yeah, it's pretty the much the same place. place. <laughs> <laughs> Since he's eating the goblins. I don't have a lot of space behind. Well, it's fine. Um, so you guys arrive from the other side. Um, Why? So we said you are at 120 feet? Yep. Well, Semet and I are at 120. Where's the map? On He's uh, tweaking it as we speak. What color is the ogre? Ugly. Is he is he green? No, he's, he's like skin skin color. Beige. But does he have a tan? Is it like a tan beige or it's a it's don't see the sun like pale beige? Pale. It's a pale beige? Okay. Like a sandy beige. Mm -hmm. I see. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. 
¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Vado. Wait, what? Hey, wait, the cart, man. <laughs> My cart. I can't turn it around. Dang it. Hey, can the police here kind of turn and wait? Uh, it's what you guys have. Uh, Tamara, you shot it with your crossbow. Uh, you hit it in like the shoulder at this point. <laughs> you you hear it like roaring and now noticing that there's people um uh, or there's like something hitting it. Um Kate, you can take your surprise round. Surprise. What is the language of ogres? It's a good question. Common and giant. I got no. Oh, yeah, they talk giant. So okay, so I basically know what he's saying. Well, right now it's just me. Oh, giant! Right. <laughs> Goddamn motherfucker! Shit! <laughs> All right. Uh, so wait, how much? How much did you say next? Nineteen. All right, Kate. Nineteen hits. Yay. <clears throat> so since I'm hidden, I have advantage and I can do my sneak attack. Yes. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yay, sneak attack yes. again. I got seven for the crossbow, four for sneak, and two. So, that's 13. Points of Dommage. Dommage. So, so, quite a lot, eh? Yeah. What? It's not we're, or... We're at 22? It, it's quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, you... Just as it, like, it gets a, a bolt in the shoulder, Kate's... Okay, Shoot another ball like it's in, in its flank. Um, still standing. Scream, screaming even more. Looking at uh, both of you guys with anger. Anger. Uh, is guys. that your turn? Yeah. Or is it. Can I hide? I can uh, cast my yes. gun bolt at this point. Hide. I got 18. Good. And do you move? That, that's or it. you stay just where you are? Well, I can move more in the tree. Good. Alright. Uh, so, Samat, you take your guiding bolt. And I take my crossbow bolt. Yep, so guiding bolt is... ...going to be... ...a... ...23 to hit. Three. Oh. Uh, eleven dam, eleven radiant damage. So as it received like two crossbow balls, there's like a a bolt of energy that just like. It's its chest. It's like roaring, <laughs> but it's roaring so loud. There's distortion in his voice. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. So Fern, you can go ahead and uh, take him at it. Yep, I've already uh, with disadvantage, right? 
since At I'm... this range, I think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, I got... Wait. Do you see? 17 to hit. The hits? With... Uh, 9 points of damage. 9! Nine. 9! Nine. 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 So, uh, with the, like, the, the big uh, structure of the ogre, even at that distance, you don't have too much uh, difficulty to, like, take your aim and shoot a bolt that, like, lands right in his other shoulder. He's, he looks very, very pissed at that point. Um, he's looking rough. Like, he, 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 he took quite a bit of damage with all of those uh, repeated attacks, uh, but he's still standing. Uh, I'll move uh, forward. All right. So me as well. Getting close to uh, the peeps. Did we go? Am I in? Uh... Um. So... Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I will be. Roll in initiative. Oh. Okay. Wait, how did you move further than I did? Really? Move the five squares. I got eleven. I moved five from where I was standing. So, from here, here. Okay. You suck. I have twenty-three. I got seven. Nice. So how did I do that? Okay. Oops. Um. Huh? Since we're blessed, do we have a D4 for initiative also, or no? No, it's just attack rolls and saving trolls. All right, I got the Kirio 14. Jane? I got 11. 11. Well, 11. All right, so Tamara is up first. So, uh, I don't want to get closer, so I'm going to shoot again. All right. Okay. Roll your attack. And bless. Sorry? Both. And bless. Uh, yes. You are. Okay. Who's blessed? It's uh, Tara and Semat, right? And Fern. What? And Fern? What is it? Yeah. Who's blessed? It's Tree. It's. Uh, everybody Tamara. except Kane. Uh, Cade. Cade. Yep. Kane. What did I say, Kane? So I'm Kane now. <laughs> Cannot change it. You would have liked to call yourself Kane. <laughs> So with that uh, is a uh, twenty. Twenty hits. No for damage. The mod. Ten. Seven plus three. Another another bolt <laughs> in the, in its body. It's looking. Quite rough at this point, with like more than uh, five bolts in his body. Well, four bolts plus some radiant damage. He, he's looking rough. So, is that your job? Are you yeah. moving or are you? No, I'm not. Alright. That goes to Fern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we kind of like we have a advantage on uh, attack rolls. Wait, what? It's guiding bolt. That's what you. Is it guiding bolt you've made, uh, Samat? Yeah. 
And the next attack roll made against this target before the end of your next turn. That's as right. Advantage. Oh yeah, I didn't read that. <laughs> but then so, been terror, right? So it it highlights the the silhouette of the like a pictogram. Like but it it's only the this, next all the silhouettes. The next yeah. one after it's not. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The next attack rolled against the after the guiding bolt. So whoever attacked after had good. advantage. What's tomorrow? Oh, I think it's already hit. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. But you can roll again if you want to see if just you make get sure you're not a crit. <gasps> I got. Oh no? wait, go go on tomorrow. No, 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 it's fine. I think it's fine. No, but you, you, you add advantage. You can roll again to make sure it wasn't a natural 20. Uh, 16 I have right now. Good. So. I got a 10. Wait, what? Hold on. I forgot. Uh, 13 plus 1. I got a 14 to hit. It it there it didn't reach me. I I got a got, fourteen to hit. Uh, what what did you go? Fourteen. 14. Crossbow. What, what your bow? No crossbow. Uh, it it does hit. Yay! For damage. For for damage, four points of damage. For another bolt, like right in in its belly. <laughs> At this point, like he, he he's looking very very rough. Not uh, he, he's One still HP. trying to understand like where everything that's happening, but um, uh, he he's not adding it. And I'll uh, move just to make sure I make myself like a huge target. All right. Kid, you're up. That's my turn. Oh, crap. Wait, no, it's not your turn. <laughs> because I will Wait. summon the Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make sure I do that every time. It's, a, it's what? It's a free action? It's a, a bonus, bonus action. action. An action? It's a bonus action. Well, it's a bonus action, I guess, if you're in combat, but uh, otherwise it's just summon it. Good. Kid. Yeah. So I can shoot him with my crossbow. Okay. I'm hidden. You are. So I got 14. Hits. Hits. Yeah. Yeah. Is the guy naked or what? Yep. Yeah. He has a pang. Nice. How many dice are you rolling? <laughs> Three. <laughs> I don't have enough dice. <laughs> you need more dice. <laughs> Always need more dice. I got 14. How do you want to do this? Shoot him in the <laughs> head. In the head. So I'll shoot him with the head real good. <laughs> real good. I <laughs> stab him real good. Real good. Real good. Um, I stab him. So for the ogre, I always see he's like it's just a volley of arrows coming at him last one uh just coming out of like the forest out of like the the bushes without seeing anything and lodge right into his skull and he just falls slowly like a big sack of potato <laughs> in the middle of the road good job well, that, guys. that was long 
he didn't even have a chance to attack. <laughs> He what? rolled, he rolled like... He was strong. Four minus one, uh, minus one as it, uh, uh, initiated. Hmm. So he went at three nice, initiated. Nice. So you guys add two, two full turn to take him down. And he's a pretty big dude, so he doesn't have a lot of armor. So everything was just... Shoot, shoot, and shoot. I'll, I'll get the oxen. So now we can pass. Safely. Told you, piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah, a victory exactly. song. Mm -hmm. Continue. What, what are you guys doing? At this point, like, it's pretty much approaching approaching the end of the day. Like, you guys made your way all, all the way back to Fender Inn, yeah. back here. Uh, you could continue a bit, just uh, if you want to. Are uh, the heads still like the, there? Yeah. Uh... I would say they were eaten. No, they the head was pretty much eaten. So we take... Can we take the ogre's head? <laughs> <laughs> Did the same this play? <laughs> I do a quick prayer for the ogre. And right. uh, try to loot him. He's a big guy. He must have something on him. Well, Thank if you. he has like a little <laughs> cloth uh, for pants, I don't think he has that much. Did he have a weapon or something? He has a great club and a halfling. Um, you, you can do an investigation roll. I'll just go get uh, my manual. I'm not sure for just a uh, random encounter. Um, Who has the highest investigation? I have... Nope. Give me a second. Just three. One. Okay, so I'm going to roll. Yeah, it's pretty much... Uh... 14. <laughs> well, he has something under his... Uh... Maybe. His linen cloth, but... It cannot be removed. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Or can it? Well, well it can, but... <laughs> I'm not going to do it, I'm just doing to check. We, we can put it on a pike as well if we want to. Like the head and the... <laughs> and the parts. What were you uh, looking for, uh, can you? He went uh, for his book. Yeah, no, but why? Yeah, Look at the, what's, what an ogre has. Okay. In terms of loot. It's not written in the book. I, maybe the DM guide. Wait, what? There's were bears. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there are uh, there were bears in uh, Vokodo's place. Yeah. I finished the Vokodo's uh, place. Now they're like uh, just after Vokodo. Did you? Feel, but did you see the the fight with Vokodo? Yeah, yeah, yeah was insane. Yeah, it was so cool. I thought Mercer was a bit too strict on the uh, the ghosts place where they kind of didn't want to fight, but still ah, felt they okay. had to fight. And because, I, I understand they... why uh, she was angry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. 
when when uh, they made that episode uh, all the people just uh, start to talking about uh, that he was a little bit strict with that because yeah. they don't talk with the ghost they tried to talk to him yeah they, they tried to not to fight actually. yeah but in at the end they fight so yeah. that was the, the problem but they thought they were being attacked Nice. Exactly. Were they, were they? Like I, I don't know. I don't remember. I think, uh, I think it was a uh, was a, a little a little bit of confusion. Yeah. Because they definitely. start to attack. Next campaign, I'm gonna roll the F ogre. It's eight feet tall and weighs four hundred and fifty pounds. It's even <laughs> bigger. Okay, <laughs> proceed. Sorry. <laughs> even you're muted. Right. I was trying to say stuff and you guys... I, I felt like you guys couldn't hear me. <laughs> it didn't, like... It didn't Do you feel abandoned? Me. Yes. Is your bard going to be a uh, half orc? Would be great gonna be half elf wait a bard who's doing a bard? i wanted to be a, a half orc at some point but uh i it, it's a terrible role to be a half orc barber again <laughs> right i'm gonna be half elf it's better for the stats and i think it fits with the role play i want to do like he, he's bad at Can't performing wait. and he's a bard <laughs> gonna be great <laughs> He doesn't sing. Awesome. He doesn't sing a lot. When he sings, it's not very good. So he's like, try to put his focus on poetry and joke. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be better jokes than. <laughs> well, it's gonna be very bad jokes. He's gonna tell bad jokes. So it's gonna be. He's gonna be. It's gonna be even worse than Fern's jokes. <laughs> yeah, about about the about the same. I I think. Yeah. Hey, because that's gonna be great. Same as uh, nuts jokes. <laughs> yeah. When you do uh, yeah, idiots, idiots laugh. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. That is gonna be your inspiration. All right. Uh, so, who did someone roll for uh investigation? It yeah. was tomorrow, I think. Fourteen. All right. So. Go through the ogre body. Uh, you find you find like uh, a necklace with, made of bones. Like that. Well, I mean, he, he has it around his neck, so you don't really find it. You just see it. Uh, it, it, it smells, and it's not that pretty. Um, you can pick it up if you want. Other than that, uh, you he also has like. A snack, like a couple of uh, goblin legs, or like you can't really make it out. It might be um, uh, orc or goblin, but like it just happened that there is a pouch, like attached to that leg, that <laughs> belongs to the previous owner, and uh, the pouch contains like um, thirteen silver pieces. Okay. I'm going to take the push, and that's it. <laughs> that's all. You, well, he has a great club, like I said. Um, if you want to, to uh, carry no. that with you. No, I'm going to let it there. <laughs> all right. Anything else? Uh, are you are are you guys camping at the same place, or you, you're? Pushing a bit forward. Find a, a I see same place. Forward. Yeah, same place, forward. and we're gonna do the, basically the same, same display. Place. Yeah, with the ogre head, forward, right? Ogre head on the spike. Yep. Maybe it's gonna attract something even bigger. Who knows? Who yeah, knows? It'd be interesting. Some well, someone knows, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows, right? 
so you guys, um, Tamara, gather some wood, wood. Um, build a fire. You guys are setting up your, your tents and bedding down for the night in the exact same spot with uh, the stench of a dead ogre in the middle of the street. Have you guys picked up your cart and bring it back closer? Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, it's right beside me. Look in the map. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a... Looks it's like a, a bear. cart. Right. All right. Um, I think we're going to leave it here for tonight. Yep. Um, yep. And next time we can pick it up there and hopefully reach your <laughs> destination. Hopefully we haven't forgotten anything. Hopefully. Oh, we forget anything? What is he doing? Show me the XP. Show me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you guys, uh, it, it's quite impressive for just uh, a couple of... Um... Three goblins and an ogre. Yeah. You um... made... Uh, 600 XP, so divided by 4. 150 each. I can't yes. use my spell. You can... I use... cannot use my spell. Why? Which spell? Is oh, the, the fog? <laughs> the yeah. fog sure. Fog. During, during your, 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 your shift, nice. your night, you can do a fog cloud if you want. <laughs> It would be very nice for like an escape or something like that, but for an like, attack, it just renders everyone like blind. <laughs> because my, my if everyone my, is there. <laughs> my initial idea was just blind the the orc, and we can pass. But yeah, it was a little risky. It was. Yeah. It was very risky. We two, it we, he would have to do a stealth check for the two oxen. Which I presume don't have a lot of dexterity, and for me and the uh, me and the um, fern, which we don't have a lot of dexterity, <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you mean stealth? Because, um, yeah, is it, I, I tried to read a bit since you have the fog cloud, like how you would roll it, but in the end, like everyone becomes hidden, so. No. He just doesn't well, see, but he can yeah, hear. Yeah, you don't see, so... Yeah, but, yeah. so but... you're kind of uh, blinded, so all your attacks have disadvantage. Yes, but he can get out of it and yeah, see no, us no. in one round. I've seen it. I've seen it so many times. People but doing that, the... that one mistake, like casting darkness, let's say. The guy just gets out of darkness in one round and kills everyone yes. <laughs> i've seen yeah. it <laughs> no that i understand so you meant this stealth check for just passing by it which yeah. you would already know there was people well he would have well actually he would have got out get he would have gotten out of the cloud and even if he were staying in he's if he stayed in the cloud we're not hidden he yeah. just doesn't see us but he can hear us and yeah. if we want to pass without being heard, that's a stealth check. Yeah. So assuming that we he heard us in the cloud, he would just get out of it <laughs> and just <laughs> kill everything. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Sure. But yeah, good job. Uh, I'll need to throw bigger things at you guys because you're getting no, no. Yeah, I know, no. but I'm I'm no. wondering. Um... <laughs> Which encounter was planned in the last mind of uh, Fendelier? Which? Yeah. Was the goblin plan? Is the goblin plan? Was the ogre plan? Or it's... Traveling is just random encounter. So yeah. what, what okay. it says is just like you, you roll on the table and they encounter that. Okay. It Doesn't could be like much. monsters, right. travelers, traders, could be nothing. Okay, okay, okay. So that depends. A lot, of, a lot of freedom on that part. So... Oh, wait, you you have like a chart in the DM guidebook? Yeah, 
Okay. No. Uh, well, yeah. In the the adventure itself, there is a chart of like what is in the region, and it says either pick something that you want to have them encounter, kill everyone or roll with, the table, or roll like once uh, in the day, once in the night, and see what happens. Or like it's pretty much have like, fun. Yeah. Okay. Do do what you uh, feel is interesting and right. All right. Okay. Thank so you did guys. you guys reach level four? Not you, at all. You, you must be no? no. It takes quite a while. No, no. At level We're, three, uh, it takes quite a while. Like a thousand fifty XP away. Okay. Good. Yep. Quite a bit. So we're gonna have to encounter quite a bit more ogres on the way. Just far away ogres. Yeah. Yeah, that's just uh, far away. Yeah. But to be fair, Kevin, yeah. uh, you did you did make us spot the ogre quite uh quite at quite a distance. Did she have a tw not twenty or something? No. But it's a hoger, and it's in the middle of the, the road. So, I mean, if you have line of sight, it's not that hard to spot. Yeah, and he was busy eating, so, yeah. It's all these circumstances. It's not that it's an ogre, it's just that it's, it's secret circumstances. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I like mean... Like, the next uh, ogre I'm could kill bad. us. <laughs> Well, I don't know yet because he didn't even have a chance to <laughs> try and hit you guys. <laughs> well, I'm guessing an ogre can actually hit pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, one, I wouldn't be surprised if he could one hit uh, uh, Kate. But our yeah. advantage was um, was uh, we we start to attack in a stealth. Yeah. And that just we we gain uh, just one round for us. A, a surprise round is a lot. It's a, a huge, huge, huge bonus. Whenever you can do it, 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 it can be either with half the party having a surprise round. Uh, it's still worth it. It's very rare that the whole party get to have a surprise round because of stealth. It's not all the part, like everyone that has stealth, you know. <laughs> but we did have the stance attack, and he was an ogre, so <laughs> we had that. <laughs> that crossbow was a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Good. All right. Awesome. All, all right, right, guys. Thank you very much, guys. It was fun. Again. Thank you. Yep. Let's do that next week. Do next week. See you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yep. bye, -bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.